Elon Musk revealed the Tesla semi-truck and it immediately attracted a ginormous amount of interest from Tesla fans and investors all over the world. But especially the investors were extremely skeptical because they proclaimed battery-powered trucks just didn't seem to be possible or if possible, then for certain not actually practical for commercial use. However, not much has happened since then. But now, after several delays, the Tesla Semi is finally picking up speed. How does it charge its massive batteries? What can the Semi offer, compared to classical diesel trucks? Join us now as we tell you all about the exciting updates regarding the brilliantly designed and constructed new Tesla Semi truck. Semi trucks are the backbone of the American society. Every day both finished goods and raw materials get transported by them throughout the country, day in and out, just so we can enjoy all the comforts modern day living has to offer for us. Currently the vast majority of the trucks on the road are powered by diesel fuel. Whilst they are providing an essential service to society, they are unfortunately a huge source for greenhouse gases that are polluting our atmosphere and environment. For example, the US Environmental Protection Agency estimating that the diesel heavy-duty trucks were responsible for around a quarter of all the transportation emissions in 2019. As a big promoter and fan of zero-emission transportation, Elon Musk felt the need to step in and to stop the pollution. For Musk the obvious solution is an electrified truck, one powered by multiple electric motors instead of the traditional fume-producing internal combustion engine. This comes after his company Tesla already has enjoyed a tremendous success with the production of electric cars. However Musk did not just bring an electric truck, he brought an electric truck that beats everything existing on the road right now. In fact the fleet operators will probably have to think hard to justify not switching to the Tesla Semi. The Semi is a class 8 hauler, putting it in competition with the most powerful trucks in the freight industry. Capable of anything you can throw at a class 8 rig haul, anything from cars to farm produce supermarket supplies and so forth and it will be able to transport them very fast, thanks to a combination of several different engineering points. For example, the Semi is powered by four highly efficient electric motors, each one on the tire hub. The interesting thing about these electric motors is that they can function differently, and this ability gives the truck a very crucial feature that we will get to in this video. As heavy as the Semi is when loaded up to 80,000 pounds, it can still accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds. That is about 3 to 5 times faster than the average diesel rig. This is unheard of in the trucking world right now. Tesla did not release the top speed yet, but already claimed their Semi can reach 60 miles per hour when going up a 5 incline. However, with an empty trailer the Semi goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds. Tesla has not released any figures about total horsepower or torque, but we can make some calculations. The motors are reportedly the same as used for the Tesla Model 3 electric sedan. Independent dynamometer tests of the Model 3 motors found they produce up to 300 horsepower and pound-feet of torque. Multiply by 4 and discount a little for the losses occurring. When the motors are linked and it's probably safe to expect the semi is about to deliver a minimum of 1,000 horsepower and 2,000 feet of torque. Aside from the powerful electric motors, Tesla designed the semi to have a low drag coefficient with a smoothly sculpted front. Elon claimed the truck's low drag coefficient of a 0.36 gives better aerodynamics than a $2 million Bugatti Chiron supercar. The nose is short, rounded and the windshield is tall but also curved at the same time, that permits air to flow around the truck rather than smash into it. This design gives the Semi a distinct and cool Imperial Stormtrooper helmet kind of look, but the real benefit is the increased speed and extended range the Semi can offer. Speaking of range, this is one of the aspects that many doubters have focused on, let us have a look at what Elon has to say to the doubters. Um, now, one of the biggest questions we've been asked about uh, electric trucks is, well, how far can they go? Because, well, let's find out. So, 500 mile range. <laughs> they think it is not feasible to design an electric truck with a practical range because of the energy requirements. To folks who are not familiar with what Tesla is doing, it might look like the truck would never get enough range to be competitive. This is because a truck as heavy as the Semi will require a large battery pack, that is so heavy it will always impede the driving range. However Tesla has a perfect solution for the problem, its new 4680 battery. Thanks to multiple modifications the battery weighs less and can go further. Since it is a structural battery, it will contribute to the rigidity and stability of the truck, 
thanks to this new battery Tesla can offer the semi at 300 miles and 500 miles configurations, which is more than adequate, because, more than 80% of all trips currently undertaken by trucks are less than 500 miles, so Tesla is well covered in that aspect. Because of its charging needs, the semi is more than perfect for freight in fixed routes, like moving raw materials or finished goods on a particular set course. Back in November 2017, Tesla CEO Elon Musk presented the streamlined battery-powered semi-truck and not much has happened since then. But now the Tesla Semi is finally picking up speed, Tesla opened up their reservations for the Semi again, and the electric truck can right now be reserved for $5,000, but so far only on the Tesla site from the USA. But the $5,000 won't be enough. In return, customers only receive an informal reservation. If you cancel, you get the money back though. Only those who transfer an additional $15,000 within 10 days, for the first Semi, can reserve themselves one. Each additional truck for the same customer requires a deposit of $20,000. The reservation is then confirmed, and the $15,000 is gone if the customer changes his mind. For this he gets the approximate priority from Tesla to be able to order a semi at some point. The question is when that will be. According to Tesla, the order date depends, among other things, on development, manufacturing, and production schedules. At the Gigafactory opening in Texas, Elon Musk promised to start production of the semi there next year, 2023. But what kind of vehicle will that be? Customers cannot be so clear about what they get in the end. E-car pioneer Tesla is even stingy with specific performance data for vehicles that have been on the market for a long time. The Semi is like a Pinata a very expensive one. So far known, there should be two battery versions. The smaller one delivers a range of around 300 miles when fully loaded, the larger one manages around 500 miles. The basic price for the Semi with a small battery is said to be around $150,000, the larger one is available from $180,000. The Semi trailer truck has four engines and Tesla promises that it can go a million miles without a breakdown. Even with two engines gone, the vehicle could still beat a diesel truck, Musk assured. In 30 minutes, the battery should be able to be uploaded to a range of a good 400 miles. Additionally, Tesla wants to set up a global network of megachargers. Alternatively, you can use the same supercharger, fast charging stations from Tesla that you use for the cars. Unloaded, the e-truck allegedly sprints to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour in 5 seconds, and the operating costs are around 20% lower than those of a diesel truck. The truck should even drive autonomously at some point using Tesla Autopilot. The semi could shake up the transport market or fail terribly. So far, not many electric trucks are on the roads. Critics fear that the electric drive with its heavy battery packs will not have it easy in the transport sector. Will it disrupt the industry as promised? Will we see the first released vehicles in 2023? Let us know what you think and what your guess is in the comments.